Happening now, some of Michigan's movers and shakers are moving and shaking Mackinac Island, discussing the crucial issues facing our state. It is the Detroit Regional Chamber's annual Mackinac Policy Conference. Channel 7 Editorial Director Chuck Stokes is live on the island. All right, Chuck, give us some day one highlights. Oh, without a question, uh, the mayor spoke earlier, uh, Dan Gilbert spoke, and uh, the governor spoke. And now we're with someone who is probably the biggest booster of the city of Detroit and downtown development, Cindy Paskey. She is the chair of Strategic Staffing Solutions. She also chairs the Downtown Detroit Partnership, and she is in charge of the Mayor's Workforce Advisory Board. That's a boatload. <laughs> it's a lot of day jobs, Chuck. Uh, entrepreneurship, that's one of the key things being talked about here. Dan Gilbert said earlier, nothing pleases him more than to look out of his window and see lots of people downtown. I would imagine you feel exactly the same. I feel exactly the same and, and the only thing I would add is that I want to see all of those people in good jobs. Yeah, and when you say good jobs, uh, that can be a wide range of things. Uh, your company has done extremely well. You turn a profit every year. You told me you've never had a losing year. What do you see as the key, and are they talking about the right issues at this conference that will translate into those jobs? I think the key is to recognize that we need an entire range of jobs. So we need the jobs that um, Dan Gilbert and his organization bring, and an S3 and a DTE and Blue Cross Blue Shield in Michigan. But we all, but we need a whole range. So in our company, we do call center work and we do very sophisticated project management and development. So we want to make sure that we have entry point jobs, like in healthcare, right? Mm -hmm. In a hospital, you need a heart surgeon, but you need someone to sit with a patient. And when you can have ranges of jobs jobs in a city, then you have the opportunity to employ a range of individuals and allow them inter to enter the job force, which is really, it, it's absolutely necessary for all of the change to be sustainable. And when you talk about entering the workforce, the mayor has really pushed this Grow Detroit's Young Talent yes. Program, uh, something that our station, uh, WXYZ, is very much involved in. We're going to sponsor two people this year to be part of that program. That's the entry-level position of getting involved in all That's of this. That's right, and thank you so much for your support. It's really, really important. 8,000 young people will go to work, and, and as the mayor says, it's not a summer job. It's their first job, and they'll learn what it means to get up, They'll learn a new skill. Yeah. They'll have a paycheck. For many of them, it'll be their first time they open a bank account. Um, they'll be reviewed. And the sky can be the limit and once the they get in. And the sky can absolutely be the limit. And and not on and like what you said, the range of jobs that our young people have. They'll be working with the fire department, with the police department. Right. They'll be working in the technology area at S3. They'll be working with you and your organization. There'll be a hundred individuals at the Detroit Medical Center and all types of jobs. So they're going to be exposed to a whole Variety. And it keeps going. And it keeps going. All right. Time exciting. is always our worst enemy. Cindy Paskey, thank you for joining us from the Mackinac Policy Conference. And we'll catch up with you back in Detroit. All right. Reporting live from Mackinac Island with Cynthia Paskey, I'm Chuck Stokes. Back to you. All right, Chuck. Sounds like a lot of good stuff going on there on the island. You can find complete coverage of the Mackinac Policy Conference right now at WXYZ.com. Also, be sure to tune in for our special webcast tomorrow. That's from 1230 to 130 p.m. A new